Hey ladies and gents, I'm Emily, a girl obsessed with Dr. Pepper, coffee, good books, and Broadway. Like everyone else, I've had my fair share of ups and downs, but through it all, I have learned one valuable lesson. We create our own reality. As a result, I spend time beautifying my world and finding solutions to create a problem-free life. Join me in the Craft Corner for DIY projects and weekly inspiration. Tune in now. So I have a project for you that will slowly introduce fall colors into your home so you're not completely blindsided by the shifting season. Okay, so another project I have to show you is inspired by the 1930s, so stay tuned. I had to put on shoes so I was tall enough to fit in the frame, and when I say shoes, I mean like big platform shoes. It was easier to do that than to try to adjust the camera. confession. I am a notoriously late guest when it comes to events. You can't never seem to be on time. And I know that seems extremely rude and I promise you it is not intentional. It really isn't. It's just I don't know what happens. I don't know how other people deal with me but I'm sure there are people out there maybe you, that kind of suffers the same. I mean, look, if that's the worst of our struggles, we're doing pretty well, right? I had an epiphany, and when it involves time, it's a pretty big deal. I realized, we're in August. The summer is already almost gone. I know, you're gonna cry into your pillows tonight, but it's like a band-aid. You just have to rip it off, you know, and just get the pain over with immediately and then deal with it. However, I do have an idea for a subtle approach to moving into the spring. Oh, not the spring. I do have an idea for a subtle approach to move into the autumn and fall season, which by the way, for the record, is one of my favorite seasons of all time. For this first project, I will show you how to make do-it-yourself glitter using simple supplies that you currently probably have at home. Simply take your Epsom salt, pour it into a bowl of some sort, use your e-brush or food coloring, and spray the salt or mix the salt around with the food coloring. I prefer the e-brush. It makes it much easier to get that even spray. It's a lot less work to try to get even distribution over the salt and make your glitter really stand out and look beautiful. For the next step, you will simply use a spray adhesive to spray the lower half of your glass vase or vase, depending on where you live in the country and how you like to pronounce that word. Once you have done that, simply pour your glitter over top of the adhesive and allow it a moment to dry. Next, simply pour a base for your flowers. In this case, I added vanilla potpourri to add a lovely little scent for my living room. Don't mind me being a klutz. I have a long history of being clumsy. Moving on. Once your base is in place, choose some flowers of your choice. In this case, I chose some orange flowers, some red accent pieces, and some branches from my backyard simply to add a little of that fall color into my living room. I have another confession. My confession, number two, is that I also have an obsession with the 1930s as of lately. As of late? As of late. I have an obsession with the 1930s as of late. 
Um, my obsession is primarily because I'm involved in a theater production of Cabaret. If you haven't seen it, totally go check it out. It's an incredible show. It has an incredible message for today's time as well as historically speaking. But outside of that, it also offers a lot of comedic relief and fabulous hairstyles, vintage looks, and it, I mean, it's just beautiful. So I have a project today to show you that's inspired by that era as well as a little touch of the Great Gatsby feel. Um, I'm sure you've all seen that movie. If not, think Gilded Age and absolutely beautiful, sparkly, kind of glamorous um, with the underbelly of a struggling lifestyle. So, wow, I should be a film critic. Actually, I probably would be butchered as a film critic. I, sh I should not do that. But that being said, I definitely have that obsession with the 1930s. You don't believe me? Really? Well, hold that off. So do you believe me now? <laughs> so that's the inspiration for this next project. I told you I like the 1930s. this project, we will be making a gilded glass frame. Let's talk supplies. I use my e-brush, a sharpie of choice, adhesive, a glass bowl, and Epsom salt. I recommend placing a piece of tissue paper or something beneath your computer paper. I simply used a gold sharpie with my e-brush to add a little color to the edges of the paper and give it that aged 1930s look. The beautiful thing about the e-brush, you can use the pins that you currently own at home and you can adjust the speed to give it a low, medium, or high setting and really allow you the most control over your project. Once you've aged your paper, set it to the side and allow it to dry. Then simply put it through your printer with the design of your choice and we can move on to the very next step. Here is our do-it-yourself glitter. That's right, you can make your own glitter at home. Simply use your Epsom salt and either food coloring or in this case the e-brush to add a little color to the Epsom salt. Once you have your Epsom salt glitter all ready to go, you will use a spray adhesive, a craft bond of some sort, and spray the very edges of your cabaret picture. Once that adhesive is in place, you will simply scatter your glitter around the edges of your picture and allow it a moment or two to dry. I actually give you the design to use, so there is no need to stress about making your own picture. Just simply download the file. I try to make your life easy. I'm telling you, I've got your back. It's all good. Use the file that we provide or make your own if you're very creative and you feel inspired to do so. What good is sitting all alone in your room? Come. Well, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys leave some great comments or like the video in the very least. And make sure to subscribe! It's like really hot right now. I'm like, I'm surprised my face is not melting off. Is it melting off? It might be melting off. I guess I'll find out later.